This is John Cola with GrowingYourGreens.com. Today we're outside my local Lowe's home improvement store. And the reason why I'm at the Lowe's today is because, you know, not everybody lives here in Sonoma County and has a Sonoma compost. And that's what I use to fill my raised beds. I use 100% Sonoma compost, which is locally composted food scraps and tree shavings and yard waste that they compost and sell back to me for basically $21 a cubic yard. So that's really inexpensive, but not everybody has this luxury to get good locally sourced organic compost. So I'm at my local low store to show you guys what to use if you don't have Sonoma compost and what things you could use to fill your raised beds. But we're here at my local Lowe's home improvement store. And uh, I came in the other day and I saw this stuff sitting here for sale next to me. And I thought I should make a show about it since many people ask. And what it is is potting soil or square foot gardening potting soil. I had one viewer that wrote in and said, John, I got all these raised beds, but I'm going broke filling them. So what they have here is basically a garden time, ready use, natural and organic square foot garden soil, you know, basically uh, endorsed by Mel Bartholomew, the inventor of the square foot gardening. So this is for use in raised beds. It contains worm castings, bat guano, and five unique composts, including poultry and mushroom compost. And let's take a look at the price here. It's basically uh, three cubic feet, and for three cubic feet, it's gonna run you $10.97. Let's take a look at the back of the uh, package and see, let's check out what's in there. So basically, Mel recommends in his book a mixture of uh, one third, uh, basically, of peat moss or coconut core, and then uh, one third uh, vermiculite and one third blended compost. So uh, let's take a walk down the uh, their soil aisle here and see if we could put that stuff together for less than what we would buy it for. That being said, this is a blend and they're probably using some pretty good ingredients. If you could afford it, this is probably pretty good stuff to buy. You know, if it got Mel's endorsement, you know, I'm sure he watches over it and makes sure they're using good stuff and they, it's by a reputable company here in uh, Tempe, Arizona. Grow well, it's G-R-O-W-E-L-L dot com. And uh, basically to fill a four by four foot box it says you need about four bags of these that would cost you about forty four dollars so let's see if we could make up our own mixture using one third peat moss one third vermiculite and one third blended compost so it says we need uh four bags which is in one bag is three cubic feet so that's going to be about three times four is 12 cubic feet to fill a four by four bed let's see if we could basically um you know fill a bed with some single ingredients and how much it would cost. So over here we have a one cubic foot of a composted chicken manure for $2.76. If we're supposed to use one third manure, I would like to mix manure. So maybe we'll use one bag of this and see if we could find other manures. And uh, once again, this is a fully composted all purpose soil amendment. I would encourage everybody to buy the organic um, certified products whenever needed, but once again, if this is all you got and all you could get, you know, good enough. So here's a one cubic foot composted chicken manure, $2.76. All right, so next we need the compost component. So I found this uh, Enrich all natural uh, stuff, <laughs> soil, soil compost, Bale Enrich soil compost. It's three cubic feet for $7.87. And uh, if we look at the ingredients, and I always like to look at the ingredients of anything I'm going to buy. Basically, has forest hummus, compost, composted chicken manure, worm castings, kelp meal, bat guano, and gypsum with oyster and dolomite limes, pH adjusters. So, uh, I don't know. I think that looks pretty good. It's good for three cubic feet at $7.87. We'll need one cubic foot of that chicken manure we saw for $2.76. And that will basically bring our compost to the uh, four cubic feet that we're looking for. So 787, uh, so why don't we just say uh, $8 plus another $3. That's $11 total for our compost component. Let's walk on and see what else we're gonna add to our mix. So now we have the peat moss ingredient and the peat moss ingredient comes in a 2.2 cubic foot uh, bag. And these bricks get kind of heavy. Let's take a look on the back here. And that's uh, pretty much it, peat moss. And uh, these are compressed, they expand when you open them up. 
All right, so the peat moss is $8.98 for 2.2 cubic feet. So we'll need two of these to make four cubic feet, which is one third of 12 cubic feet, which is the total we need to make. So that's gonna cost us about $18 to make that. All right, so I'm trying to find vermiculite to add to our mixture, and they don't have it here at Lowe's in big bags. They have small bags, which will really cost a lot of money, and I don't recommend buying it in small bags. But I know down the street at Home Depot, they have it. A huge bag runs about, I think about $18, $17, $18. So basically with that, I could calculate how much it would cost us, and actually it would cost us more than $44 to make our mixture separately. So why not just get the stuff pre-mixed? It's a lot easier. So what else can you use to fill your raised beds? Well, you know, basically that's up to you what, what you fill them with. Uh, you know, definitely the Mel's mix is probably really good. But if you don't want to do the Mel's mix, you could probably use something like this stuff, uh, all natural garden soil. Very important to check the ingredients. I'd recommend, you know, something with a high compost content because, you know, that's where your nutrition or the nutrients come from. So this has composted forest humus, compost, composted chick manure, worm castings, kelp meal, and bat guano. Basically the bat guano helps to add the nitrogen, the kelp meal adds some of the minerals, but that being said, I would still use the rock dust minerals. So that's probably pretty good. That's three dollars, I'm sorry, that's three cubic feet for seven dollars and eighty-seven cents. The other thing, you know, once again I would recommend is using some organic gardening soil. So whether it's, you know, uh, the miracle Grow brand or other brand, uh, garden soil or compost I'd recommend using that and you know use some inexpensive cheap compost on the bottom to fill it up to uh, fill in because some of this organic compost is more expensive and uh, you know let's take a look at what's in here in what they put in here hopefully it's rich in compost made by miracle grow not that I'm a big fan of uh, supporting big companies like miracle grow but uh, let's see it has mainly um, formulated with organic materials including Forest products, peat, hummus, and compost, sphagnum peat, composted manure, and poultry litter. So you know that looks like a pretty good basic mixture for six seventy-seven for one point five cubic feet. But you know what? Just do the best you can and use what you have available in your local area. I recommend you look for you know uh, your contact your local city or garbage company to see if they do green bin or food scrap and tree clipping composting in your area that's going to be the most affordable source of compost to fill your raised beds once again at my house i use pretty much 100 percent compost and rock dust minerals that are very important to add to your soil no matter what you do whatever you get at lowe's and home depot add the rock dust minerals and i have a really exciting announcement for some rock dust minerals that will be delivered to your house for really cheap and that's coming real soon but it's uh, it's currently a secret but pretty soon that's going to be online. You could order it online for really inexpensive. Get it delivered right to your door for probably cheaper than you could even buy it locally almost. And if you're filling your raised beds, do the best you can with what you have in your local area, whether it's, you know, composted from your local city like I get. I get cubic yards for $21, so it's magnitudes cheaper than buying the stuff by the bag. But if all I had was stuff by the bag, I would. The other thing is check your local nurseries and other places that sell to, like, landscapers they can buy things and sell things by the truckload so you could get a quite a better deal by buying through them than buying it from the bags at a big box store such as walmart home depot or lowe's or your local garden center or nursery so once again this is john kohler with growingyourgreens.com and when you're growing do the best you can and just start growing now and if you can't get organic hey that's fine do the best you can but start today we'll see you next time